Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I've been a little MIA this past week, maybe a week and a half. I do have some updates for you guys. So I just started school last Thursday, so I'm kind of just getting back into the flow of things, uh, meaning with my schoolwork and my studies and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure that I took the time I needed to get back into my school and I also planned for um, making sure that I'm able to do my projects and my homework on time without having it interfere, without having like making the videos interfere with that. So I wanted to make sure that I would take care of that first and then I would update you guys. But yes, I think I'm going to change my uploading schedule to maybe once a week. I haven't decided if that's going to be Wednesdays or Sundays yet, but yes, I will be uploading once a week until I get back into it and I'm able to do two videos a week. But we will see so for now I would just look forward to the one time a week and then in the future I will update you guys as well once I do decide to do two uploads a week but yes so I wanted to come back on here share a little bit of that update for you guys to kind of just make sure you guys are aware of what's happening on my channel but yes so welcome back to another plant diaries video I'm excited for this one because I do have some more additions or some new additions to our indoor plant collection. They're plants that I've never had before, so I'm very excited to show them to you guys. I do also have a few new terracotta pots that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off and they look like a steal, especially because they're not like normal terracotta pots that are just like like that. They're like one of them is a square, the other one's like a really long. I'll show them to you in the video. I should have showed them to you guys now because I haven't potted any of my plants in them yet, but I'll show them in later clips in this video. And then what else do I have for you guys? Oh, I did want to update you guys as well because I know that on my first plant diaries, I was sharing with you guys how difficult it was for me to keep my peace lilies alive as well as my rubber trees. My rubber trees are really droopy and super sad and I've actually been able to get them happy again and they have grown so much. They have so many new babies. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see and I can't wait to see what how big they get now because now that I know how to take care of it properly those poor rubber trees man I was not taking care of them properly for so long I'm honestly surprised that they've actually grown new leaves too because I did some pretty bad damage at least I think but I mean they're growing so I'm happy about that and I'll show you guys later in the video and then I think that's really all the updates I have for you guys other than like the growth on my plants as well as the new plants I have in our indoor collection but other than that that's really all I have for you guys I wanted to just give you guys an update regarding the video schedule but yeah and then if anything I normally do updates on my social media on my Instagram account I share like the updates regarding my schedule or just any updates I have for you guys so I will link all my socials here for you guys so you guys can follow me on there if you want to keep up with any news or anything other than like watching the videos yeah that's all I have for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this plant diaries episode oh also I wanted to share with you guys or I wanted to ask you guys if you guys have any recommendations regarding videos for me that can be either plant related or just lifestyle related I just wanted to know what you guys wanted to see from my channel I do have for you guys already planned a uh, making of a moss pole for my monster because I really need it. My Monstera is kind of like growing forward and out if you can see in the past plant diaries videos which I will link for you. But yeah so since my Monstera is growing like upward and out I want it to I want to have the moss pole so that instead of growing like forward it'll like grow up. So hopefully my moss pole comes out pretty good. I'm planning to do that next week so once I get that done next week you guys will either see the video on Wednesday or Sunday. I'll keep you updated on my Instagram account but yeah leave me any recommendations if you have any for me, if there's anything that you're looking forward to, any tips, really just anything yeah just leave those below for me in the comments. I would appreciate it but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right guys so this is one of my new plants. It is called angel wings at least that's what i've seen online but it's like a 
I think it's a Caladium or something of that sort, but I love this one because it adds a pretty pink color to all of my other green plants. And this one is such a fast grower. You can already see that there's a new little sprout of a new leaf that's coming up, but it grows so fast. So I'm so excited to see how much this one grows. I don't know much about how to care for this one yet. So if you have any tips or tricks, I would appreciate it. Leave a comment below. But yes, this is one of my favorite plants and I love the color it adds to our house. I got this one at Home Depot for like $4 and I was like, like, oh my gosh this is a steal so I had to have it this plant here I do not remember what it's called at the moment but I got it at Ikea for I believe it was like $12 but they had a pretty good selection at Ikea of new plants so I was pretty excited to get this one because I don't have anything like it it's a cacti I believe but it's like a cacti succulent I'm not too sure I googled it um, and there was only a little bit of information about it but um so far i really love having this it also adds a little bit of pink to the house and to the indoor plant collection so i'm very excited to have this one i guess it's called a cristata so yes i love this one yes finally my swiss cheese plant if you guys watched the last plant diaries my swiss swiss cheese plant was growing so fast this new leaf right here was the one that grew from the last plant video and then this one grew like overnight and you can already see that there's a new little sprout coming out and i don't know what it is about the swiss cheese plant but it grows so fast it literally grows overnight i had two leaves that grew basically within a week and i was honestly very surprised because i got this one from home depot if you watched the last plant diaries video i got it from home depot and it was a little bit ripped up and a little messed up and it just looked kind of brown so i trimmed a lot off of it but it already has so many new sprouts so i'm very 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 excited about this one i also kind of want to get it like some lattice or something maybe even a moss pole um so it can climb up it instead of going out to the sides but i do really love this look so i'm very excited to see how much more it grows When we first got the Swiss cheese plant, I cut off a little piece that was, um, all of the leaves had been um, ripped off of it. So I cut it off and I'm hoping to have it propagate. And if you can tell already, the little top edge is growing a new sprout, which hopefully turns into a leaf and then hopefully it gets roots as well. So I, I can repot it and it'll grow its own little thing. My marbled pothos that I got from the plant stand is doing so good. It, of course, is growing like crazy. And this one's way more marbled than my other pothos, my first pothos that I had. Um, but this one has been doing really good. It has a lot of new growth. And you can tell much more marbled all of these leaves are because every single one of its new leaves has almost like half and half, like half really dark green and then half like a lime green, if you can see on this top one. But yes, yeah, so this pothos is doing really well. The only thing that I noticed on this pothos is that the marbled, like the light colored marbled area is getting a little dried out and burned. I'm not too sure why that's happening. Maybe it's too much sunlight or maybe it was just getting used to the area that it's in now because this is the only leaf that it happened on. My Chinese Evergreen, oh my goodness, I love this plant so much. This one is also such a great grower. This has been growing new leaves literally since the day I brought it home. It's already grown maybe four or five new leaves and I only got it 
I believe it was like three weeks ago but yes so this one has done has given me so much new growth and you can see that it's already coming out with i believe there's like four sprouts that are coming out already so here's two and then there's gonna be another few coming up as well oh there's another one right there but this one this chinese evergreen grows so quickly and honestly it's so easy to take care of i definitely recommend a chinese evergreen for beginners like if you're interested in getting plants but you're not too sure if you can keep them alive or anything i have not done anything special for this chinese evergreen i have not fertilized it or anything really i just keep it right there where it gets light and I water it whenever it needs it and it's grown like crazy. My big monstera. So this is the one that I was talking to you guys about from the beginning of this video. You see how it kind of leans towards me and it like spreads out. So that's why I want to do the moss pull on this one. But if you can see this new leaf, it has its slits already. This is the first leaf that it has given me that has slits already. This other leaf right here was also a new growth leaf, but that one is just solid. So hopefully it starts to slip more on its other leaves as well. But so it came with already the big leaf with the perforation, but this is the first leaf that has grown and has already had two slits in it. So I'm very excited. This Monstera has given me nothing but growth and I love it so much. So I hope to make my moss pole correctly to give it the support that it needs and i'm also hoping to repot it because the plastic pot is easy to to tip over because it's so top heavy so hopefully once i get a chance to make my moss pole i'll be able to repot it into the terracotta pot that i got from home depot um in the last plant diaries video to kind of give it some more weight and support it better but yes my monster is doing very well and i'm very happy with it i also recommend this for beginners because honestly i, I think it's very simple to take care of i haven't had very much um, trouble with my monster at all and it's so beautiful to look at You guys, my rubber trees are back. Like they bounced back so quickly once I got my moisture meter. Look at these happy leaves. The leaves are so shiny and you'll be able to see the new sprout that's coming out. Well, the new two that are coming out. Um, I'll show you here, but I'm so happy that my rubber trees are happy now because I was honestly very disappointed in myself that I was not able to take care of a rubber tree because when I was going online when I was first getting into like different types of plants it says that rubber trees are very simple to take care of but for me that wasn't the case because I did not know how to take care of it at all so I was very sad that it was very droopy and it wasn't happy like the pictures always showed online but finally I've been able to find that balance and I've been able to properly take care of it so yes you can see that it's finally happy a happy rubber tree and I just love it so much this is my other rubber tree the first one that i got and it is also happy again and you can see this tiny new sprout that's coming out well that's a new leaf right there but a new sprout is coming out as well and i'm just so happy honestly i feel like so accomplished having brought back these rubber tree plants because yes if you watched any of my other plant diaries episodes you will see that my rubber trees were sad and droopy and Honestly, they were like that for a long time. So I'm just happy that they bounced back and they're giving me new growth.
my barrel cactus has been doing so good as well i have not watered it yet um and my i might need to but i have not watered it yet but it still looks perfect as ever this is such a simple cactus to take care of i have not had a cactus before so i'm very happy that this is still doing really good and it's just so pretty to look at honestly All right, my other little baby cactus has also been doing really good. Um, I just watered this the other day, but this one's been doing really good. And all of these spikes on the top that I'm focusing on right now are new spikes. So when they came in, they were like super white. It almost just looked like it was like fuzz on the top of it. So just recently, it's actually been turning, the spikes have been turning really dark. My aloe vera is doing really good as well. Um, it's growing a lot more. This snake plant has been doing so good. This is one of the new plants. I got it from Ikea for, I don't remember how much. I think it was like $4, but I love that it's so tiny. So I wanted to get it. And then I also got this old man cactus from Home Depot. I believe it was like $3, but I wanted to get this one too because I've been getting really into cactus. So, I was happy to add this one to the collection and I just love how these three look on my little shelf here. I'm literally obsessed. I don't know. I just love them so much. But yes, if you guys are interested in that snake plant in the middle, I would go to Ikea. My corn tree is doing so good. It's been giving me non-stop growth and I don't know if it's just me or if it's other plant parents, but I am obsessed with my plants giving me new growth. This tree has been doing so well. Um, I do rotate it every so often to make sure that the leaves don't start uh, leaning to one side. So I do want it to grow evenly and I do that for all of my plants as well. But there's two little sprouts in the bottom and you can see them in my other videos as well, but it's doing really well. My bunny ear cactus has been growing so much as well. I have not watered this one yet either. I don't think it's time, but this one has so much new growth and you'll be able to see the big long piece. I'll focus in on it, but it has been growing so much and I just love the way it looks, honestly. Um, it doesn't grow fast, so it just gave me a little bit of growth on like that long piece on top, but other than that, it's pretty much the same and it looks perfect so i'm just happy that it's doing good and i haven't been like over watering it or anything like that because i haven't watered it at all my other baby monstera is doing really good as well um this one was not growing for me for a long time and then finally i like really looked at it the other day once i watered it when it was watering day and i could see that i have two new leaves coming in there are little rolls right now so i'm very excited to see the new growth that's coming from this plant i honestly think that i just didn't have it in the correct lighting previously and that's why a lot of its leaves from before had fallen off so i'm just excited that this one's back and it's starting to grow again but yes so i'm excited about this one my other aloe vera has been growing a lot too there's been a lot of new sprouts on the bottom it hasn't been growing as much as the one i have outside in our front uh, porch but it's been doing pretty good so i'm happy about that My big pothos has also been growing really well. Um, it was growing like super fast. I think it was like last month, but it's kind of slowed down a little bit more now. I think it's because it's gonna start, um, the weather's gonna start changing soon. 
but um, it gave me a lot of new growth um, it's starting to finally like trail to the sides and I do also rotate this one this one's been doing really well um, my pothos has been really simple to take care of and I'm just happy you can see that there's like some new baby sprouts coming in and then on the top there it's starting to kind of get the leaves to trail as well These are the terracotta pots that I was telling you guys about at the beginning of this video, but because it was 50% off at Hobby Lobby, I got both of those for $2 and the big long one, I think I got for like $3. I'm not too sure, but they were like a good deal. So if you're looking for terracotta pots, all of the pottery that they had there at Hobby Lobby was 50% off. I hope you guys enjoyed that plant diaries video and the progress that I've made so far. Yeah, if you liked it, please leave a like and um, comment below, subscribe, leave me any recommendations. Again, I would love to hear from you guys. Follow me on my social media. I will link all of that here for you. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.